hello and welcome to my 2023 spring front porch now i know i said earlier that i wasn't going to do a spring front porch video but i changed my mind so here we are it's not going to be anything like really dramatic and drastic but i do need to like really clean this porch i got some new plants to put out here i think i'm going to rearrange this little seating area and um you know just spruce it up a bit so i figured why not share with you guys? So I'm just going to go ahead and get started because it's starting to get um, maybe rainy here in the next little bit. So I want to hurry up and go ahead and get this done. So let's go. You guys, I'm so incredibly sorry for the horrible wind that was in that clip. Also, look at Bodie. He was so mad that I wouldn't let him out here. He would have ran away if I let him out here while I did this. Um, but I forgot that little fuzzy mic cover thing on my camera when I took it outside. So I apologize about that. That was horrible. I'm sorry. But I'm going to go ahead and start by getting everything off of the front porch. And just to let you guys know, this is really where we come out and sit and spend time. We don't have a deck or a patio out back or anything. So I really wanted to make sure that this was nice and comfortable and cozy for us to be out here. I know I did say that I wasn't going to do a whole big spring front porch uh, video and refresh, redo, whatever. But Ruben said over the weekend, he was like, why don't we go down here to the nursery and look at some plants? And we ended up getting some really nice things. And I was like, crap. Now I need to do the front porch. So why not go ahead and bring you guys along? So I did briefly show you in the beginning what a hot mess this porch was. I mean, it was, it was awful. It was a hot mess. So it didn't really take me too long to get this into the shape that I needed to get it into. I really just needed to wash everything um, that was on the porch, especially the porch itself, because like I said, the pollen, mm. You guys, it's awful. You can see it everywhere. I've shown, I'll show you a couple places here, like that little table and the porch itself. Oh my gosh, it is so gross. Pollen is just all over the place. So I wanted to get the covers off of all the stuff and put them in the washer. Also, those little uh, poofs right there, I got those off of Amazon. So I know that the poofs that are, you know, going around, those things are like $50 to $80 or more. I'm not paying that much money. So I found these on Amazon and the inserts are inflatable. And then they have different little coverings that you can just throw in the washer and wash. Hello? Yes. I will go ahead and link those in my description box if you guys are interested in looking at them. Look at that. That's pollen. That's disgusting. So we're going to get everything off of here. Now, I did really like this little black and white rug, the round rug. It just, it, I don't know. It just didn't look right. I mean, it looked fine, but I just wanted something different. Okay, let's just be honest about it. So I did find a really cute one at Walmart for, I think it was $32. It wasn't much at all. And I did, you know, recycle that black and white one. It did go somewhere else. But I just wanted something that would fit the front porch a little bit better. And when you guys see it, hopefully you'll agree that it fits this porch a little bit better. Another thing I wanted to talk about are the cushions for this little bench. So this bench isn't like a normal sized bench. It's more on the, the it's not like a mini, but it's like a, a smaller, more compact size. So I had actually gone to the store. I went to like Target and Walmart Marshalls and everything. And I actually bought like two or three different cushions to redo not redo but just like to replace the ones that are on there gal they were too big too big so what i'm gonna have to do is just get the measurements of that one and then get online and see if i can find something i don't really trust myself to like recover those or even make something to cover those i don't know and they're fine i just kind of wanted something different but they do come off and they do go in the washer and they're perfectly fine so i just went ahead and washed them I decided to go ahead and start by like just spraying everything down and trying to knock off any of the dirt and pollen that I could before I really just started cleaning everything. And I decided to use just a little bit of Dawn because I mean, hello, Dawn can clean pretty much anything, right? And I also used that little brush that I got from Timu. If you guys watched my last video, I show this to you when I use it in my kitchen. And I knew that it was going to be good for me to use on the porch, and I was right. Now, nine times out of ten, usually when I clean the porch like this, and I use just like a broom, like to, you know, I don't know, scrub it. You know what I'm talking about. I can still see like Bodie's paw prints and everything in everywhere. It just doesn't do as good. But I knew that this brush would really work out for me, and it did. Like I said, I just really wished the little pole was longer because, y'all, my back still hurts still hurts, but it did an amazing job. And I'm really glad 
that I had it. So I went ahead and washed down all of the railing as well as the porch, got that all rinsed off. And not only was it clean, it just smelled good out there. You know, it smelled really good. And at, th at this point, I think it was it was around this time that I realized, so across the street from us, we have like a little Airbnb and there were some people sitting out there on the porch and I noticed that they were out there like the entire time. And you know, I know they were watching me. They had to be. And then I kind of felt weird. Like, you know, I had a camera out there and I was moving it around and like, you know, doing weird YouTube things. And then I was like, don't worry about it. Nobody cares. I don't know those people. Right. And they're going to be gone in two days anyway. So doesn't really matter, but I had an audience. So I felt like I really needed to, you know, step up my game. So I made sure that I got all the corners, all the nooks and the crannies. Now I didn't do the windows and all that stuff at this point because I just didn't want to. Okay. I just didn't want to. And my main goal was just to get this porch done. Now I don't think that you could see it right there, but all of the nasty that I had scrubbed on there with that brush when I was rinsing it off, Oh my God, it was so gross. And I could smell it. I could smell the pollen. It was horrible. So gross. So incredibly gross. So I'm really actually very, very grateful that I don't have allergies at this moment. I really never do. Like I just kind of get like that seasonal cold when the seasons change. But I tell you what, Reuben is going through it right now with these allergies. Also, my youngest son, he he's in D.C., and uh, they pretty much have like the same weather and nastiness that we have here in Virginia, but they are both really suffering bad. Like I don't, I don't know how they how they can stand it, but I'm just really grateful that I'm not because I would not have been able to get through this porch cleaning if I did. That's how much I have a white car, you guys, and it's just like a just a a film of yellow grossness. It's just, it's everywhere. It is everywhere. Also, the bees, the bees are bad. The bees are bad, bad. Like, it's it's hard for us to sit on the front porch sometimes because we'll have Bodie out there with us. And he's not, I mean, I love him. We all love him, right? And he's incredibly smart. Very intelligent dog. But he would try to eat a bee, okay? And that's the last thing I need. I don't need him eating bees because, <laughs> oh my God, that's just the last thing I need. Um, so anyway, here is the new rug. I just really think that the rectangular shape and the colors on this one kind of really match a little bit better. I don't know. Again, like I said, I just really wanted a new one and this was my, my best excuse to get one, but I really do think it looks better. You guys will have to let me know if you agree. I, I, I think it just, I think it looks good. I also wanted to take this time really quickly to say, if you guys are new to my channel, if this is the first video that you come across, I will say these videos usually for me are like my most popular videos. So if this is your first time here, thank you so much for clicking and watching today. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you stick around. Go ahead and go through some of my other videos on the channel if you enjoy what you see. I would love for you to uh, subscribe and become a part of my crazy YouTube family. I do, this is probably a really good video for you guys to watch because I'm kind of all over the place all the time. I'm a little bit crazy. I get uh, sidetracked and I talk about anything and everything and usually not the things that I'm, I need to be talking about, but I have fun over here and I love meeting new people. So if you guys are new, if this is your first time here, go ahead and let me know in the comments if you feel comfortable. That way I can say hi to you personally. But yeah, this is... Um, this is my, my front porch for 2023. So I did decide, if you guys notice, I did decide to put the bench right back in front of the windows like it was uh, the year before last. And I just, I don't know, I just needed a change. So this is one of the plants that we got at the nursery. This is a little fern. Now let me tell you a story about these ferns, okay? It used to be that Reuben would get two ferns every year and hang them on each corner of the front porch and it never failed every single year birds would nest in those ferns and every time he would come out to water them <laughs> there would be a bird in there usually a mother bird and they would come out and like try to attack him and he hated that so much so when I told him I was like I really want to get a fern for the corner over there he was like there's gonna be birds in it I was like that's okay. I'll handle it. All right. So, um, I'll have to keep you guys updated if there's any, 
any baby bird attacks uh, out of that fern this year. Um, this little table too, I got this from Timu also. Now this isn't a sponsor video from them, but I wanted to let you guys know that. So the legs come off of that and it also comes with like a little carrying case. It's really just like a camping table, but I thought it was really cute. I could just sit out there, you know, because, you know, I have beverages and whatnot, my little speaker and things like that, that I needed to sit it somewhere. So I tried to do like the little trick where you take acetone and tried to wipe off that little white label that was on there. It did not work. So I just put a coaster over top of it. Um, but I went ahead and put everything back out onto the porch. Obviously I had to have Bodie's little bed because he comes out there and sits with us. I also wanted to take some of the miracle Grow. We use this every single year and it really does help, uh, for us to make sure that our plants are nice and pretty all through the year. Now, sometimes it doesn't help that I don't remember to come out here and water them. Uh, but I, I will remember this year, I promise you. So I've got everything done now that I've talked your ear off and this is how the front porch has turned out. I really think it's cute and cozy. It works for us because we do have such a small space to work with. Everything fits out here nicely. I didn't want to go overboard. I didn't really want to crowd things up, but I really do think that it turned out really nicely and I have been out here ever since and so has Bodie, but not right then because he would have ran away. <laughs> but I really do hope you guys enjoyed this video and it gave you some motivation to get out and do something to your front porch. Maybe it gave you some ideas of things that you wanted to add. But again, I want to say thank you guys so much for coming by and watching today. I really do appreciate it, but I got to go. I love you and appreciate you and I will see you in the next one. Bye.